Here's here at the queue. He's award winning. He's in the Hall of Fame. I mean, he does it all from designing every detail, every fabric choice, every color choice, but also designing like all the accessory items to go with it. You're I love your doing that. Tonight, too. I love designing the jewelry. You know, and I would, that board is all the way over there, but I like to mix things up. Can you guys show, I don't even know what that board is called, but the drawings? Because what I think is so neat about you, and I learned this when I first met you, once Lewis has designed all the items for the show, he draws everybody's outfit. So that's Kate up there, and Chantel up there, and Brenda up there, and you draw not just the shirt they're wearing, but the color of the shirt. Yes. Not just their pant, but whatever the pant color is. And then you draw all the jewelry that you're going to put them in. Yes, because each one, and then I put each individual sketch on a plastic bag, and that goes on their outfit with the jewelry in it. So all they have to do is look at the sketch, the jewelry's there, they know exactly how they're supposed that's to look. so much work. It is a lot of work. But you know, that's the way I was trained. I used to do show, when I did shows at Aunt Klein, yeah. They, we had 200 looks in a show with 36 models. No, I had one of my assistants <laughs> draw them. <laughs> Sometimes when, I, when Sometimes. we started, I used to draw yeah. them. But you know, that was a lot of, lot of sketches. Then we started doing Polaroids and started blowing them up and putting them on the bags. Wow. But you know, that's the way I was trained. Well, that's, he's the only one that I know of that does that in the building where he draws well, every Bob single does. outfit. Bob does. Yeah, Bob does too. You're right. Bob does. You're right. Sorry, I have hair in my face. All right, so we're going to move into the next item. I promise you Ponty Pants. Can you just wait a few more minutes and then we'll talk about Ponty Pants. And I promise you my topper. But again, can you just wait a few more minutes and then we'll go over my whole look. But I wanted to pause to bring back Whisper Knit. We started with Whisper Knit. Yeah. Um, it's one of Lewis's love fabrics. It's rayon and nylon, and it feels like a whisper on your body, but I find it to be one of the most forgiving fabrics a woman can wear. This is the Whisper Knit with little pockets down at the bottom of a tunic length um, lightweight sweater. It's $49.50. It's on three easy payments of $16.50. And I have some great color choices for you, starting with a camo green choice. Love the camo green. And then I thought we would for sure call this alabaster, but in this no, case, we we'll call it linen. No, it's linen, because it's a, it's a more beigey, taupey, pale beigey ah. taupe color. It actually looks exactly like natural linen yarn. It does. Like You're flax right. yarn. So it is slightly darker than alabaster. Yes. Slightly. Then this is a coral color. So if you're finally getting a hint of orange, a hint of salmon, then this is what you want. Now, if it coral. looks very bright on your TV, like it looks on ours, it's not super bright. It's not dingy at all. No. But it's really a corally color. It's got a little more peach in it than what's on our screen. I like it. Um, and then this is good My navy. old navy. Do you My like navy more navy. than you like black? Or do you like black more than you like navy? If I had to pick one pick. color to design in for the rest of my life, black. Oh, dang. I thought you were going to say navy. No. No. I black. love navy, but, you know, navy is my summer black. See, I, I, navy is my winter black. I love Well, navy. and a lot of women are like that. A lot of women okay. cannot wear black. They find it too harsh. That is me. You know, they find it too harsh. I mean, once in a while, a black dress or a black jumpsuit. Yeah. I love navy. But, well, you are, you're, there are a lot of women like you. Oh, it's nice to meet you, ladies. Thank you yes. for joining the Navy Club. I mean, Kate, my friend, my, one of my ladies from, I'm calling you a lady, Kate, from California. She only wants Navy. She, wants she navy. loves I'm Navy. Her. I'm with her. Right, Kate? <laughs> now, I am going to put, what color do you want in the front? Why don't you do, Let's do well, whatever what do we, you want? I don't care. I don't know, just because the pockets well, are hard to see on the camera. But yeah, in definitely. Navy, but boom, there's your pockets. And this again <laughs> is in my every needle rib okay. construction, which means every needle on the machine is knitting. This is gives it more body than a jersey. That's why women, they don't know why they like this on their bodies, why it feels good on their bodies, but that's the reason. That's why, because Be you did all the hard work. And because it wear. gives the sweater a little more weight, a little more construction, a little beefier without it being heavy, but it feels expensive on. Yes. And, and that's because <laughs> of the construction, the every needle. I don't know of anyone else in QVC that does every needle rib. Uh, I'm thinking, and no one else's name is coming. Because to it mind. used double the amount of yarn. And we still can do it for under. Then a jersey. Yeah. And we can put an easy pay on it. Yeah. Sixteen dollars. When I used to make sweaters in Italy, 
This is the kind of knit we always did, these every needle rib sweaters, needle. because they were refined. Now you cannot do, a lot of women say, but it's not fully fashion. Well, that's one of the things you have to give up with every needle rib. On the machines that these are made on, okay. they can't do fully fashion. What does fully fashion mean for those When, you know, know, when it's knitted to the shape and you see all those little dots, yes. that's a fully fashion sweater. That's knitted on the machine to the shape. Okay. All cashmere sweaters are fully fashion, but they can't do that on this machine. So did you learn to construct clothes before you learned to design clothes? Or did you learn, like, no, design clothes? No, I learned to design learned clothes to first, and then working, I learned all the technique. Construction. Going to Italy, going to Europe, going to Paris, I learned about the construction. My goodness, that Working brain in the of factories. Yours. It's, it's incredible, all the knowledge you have. Um, and then he's still just excellent at styling it all together. So Kate's on the left. Kate is wearing linen. Maria is on the right. Maria is wearing camo green. And then there's that coral and that navy, which is funny because those are my favorites. Beautiful. So pretty. They're great colors. So pretty. All right. That's your summer black and your summer bright. There you go. Love it. I'm A302563. And use your $16 payment plan if you're interested in getting that little find in Whisper Knit. All right, Ponty. So we talked about stretch denim when it came to pants. We talked about the texture and the fabric that I'm wearing in my